What's up everybody, OGP back with you. This is gonna be a really random video. Of course, the second I start talking, there's like a midnight smog station open over here, whatever. But I'm at a pretty cool place from a movie that Fluffy and I watched and we both really enjoyed on a drunk movie review a while back. It's called Bloody Bloody Bible Camp and it started right here at this convenience store up in the mountains near Lake Arrowhead. And I'm gonna go in and take a look at it and then I'll show you some clips from the movie. And then who knows where this video will go. It is Christmas Eve, Eve, Eve. So it, it's December 23rd and uh, no, yeah, I think it might even be 20 seconds still, but anyways, I don't know what the hell's going on, but we're going to do some last minute Christmas shopping and, and stuff like that. But first we got to get in and check out this convenience store here from Bloody Bloody Bible Camp. Here it is, right where our campers started their adventure that uh, led to many of their demise. I won't get into spoilers too much on that, but this is the convenience store right here where they started and I'll show you if I can show you a clip or pictures or some right here. They're inside now and they used to have like a cafe where they make sandwiches and stuff over there. And you can see that uh, same fake brick wall in the background uh, on the screenshot here. And all these coolers over here where drinks are. I'm gonna get myself something to drink here. A tall can? I talked to the owner, he was actually the one working the register in there right now as I picked up my goodies here. Uh, he said he's a new owner, hasn't been here that long. He doesn't speak English very well. And so uh, he was struggling to kind of understand me. Uh, but I was telling him that they, they filmed the movie here. And um, anyways, we'll, we'll try and get some good shots. Hopefully I get some good stuff. Man, look at my hair. It's time for a haircut. I haven't had a haircut since Boston. But uh, let's mosey on down the hill because I am up here, I think town of uh, Blue Jay or something, I'm up, but I'm up here by Lake Arrowhead now on the mountain and uh, anytime I see one of these cool little filming locations, I'm like, oh, I got to stop and check that out. And one of you had mentioned, or maybe a couple of you had mentioned that in Beaumont, California, which is not too far from here, there's a liquor store uh, that was in, uh, my name is Earl, and I think that was at the show, right? And um, I'll definitely have to go over there and check that out because that's, I mean, that's very close to my house. So I'll have to go check that out uh, one of these days for you guys. That'll be a lot of fun. So anyways, uh, signing off from here, from this cool little convenience store up on the mountain. And uh, we'll go down the hill and take a look at uh, what, what maybe some last minute bargains and deals at uh, Target and Walmart and stuff like that right here before Christmas. Look at me back on top of a mountain. <laughs> What movie one you could suck it? What movie one was giving me shit about my video the other day? But I am. I'm up here on the mountain right now. And this is a different mountain. You see the star out there kind of by the flashing light, the airplane coming in. That mountain that I was on the other day is way over there. And so starting out here, you got like Yucaipa, Redlands. Uh, then you'd have San Bernardino. And then Fontana. And Rancho Chocamonga heading out toward LA way over there. And in fact, there's a long straight row of lights right there. That's Interstate 15. Uh, the headlights are all heading northbound up toward like Victorville or Barstow or out to Vegas even. But it is winter and it's still freezing cold out there. I'm up about, I think about 6,000 feet in elevation right now. So twice as high as I was on the other mountain the other day. Uh, pretty high up here. Just loved the view, but I had stuff to do on the mountain. So I was like, you know what? I'm driving by. Oh, look, there's the bloody, bloody Bible camp. And even right after that, I passed the uh, that other filming location I did up here not too long ago from that Nicolas Cage movie. So uh, lots of stuff to see up here. It's so cool. But anyways, let's get down the mountain and go shopping, shall we? There's Target. And this mall right now, as expected a couple days before Christmas, is pretty insane. Just cars everywhere, people coming in and out of the stores, very chaotic down here right now but we're gonna get ourselves into target and see what uh, last minute deals they might have here well look at this they're already marking stuff down for christmas right now 30 percent off already yep gotta get rid of these christmas decorations which obviously weren't big sellers candles and stuff i'm not a big fan of like aroma like candles to make your house smell forest yeah no i'm good well here's funko pops 
box set. So here's movies. Wow, they don't have much. I know Target's been cutting back, but wow, they don't have much. We'll look through those in a second. Let's take a look at the Funkos. Let's see. Nah, no real sales. But anybody cool that would be cool to get? Oh, I'm not seeing any. Okay. So this is all books over here. It's crazy, these stores. It's like we're going backwards. We're leaving the movies, going back to books. So the Northman, $10 on Blu-ray. Nothing on sale over here. Oh, these are Christmas movies. Ten bucks. Like, I'm good. Little Woman King. Wow, that's out already? So I guess that stand over there and this is all they have in the way of movies anymore. I'm just not seeing anything else. And I'm not seeing anything I give two shits about here. What are you doing to us, Target? Man, that's worse than Barnes & Noble, man. This is this is bad. They got lots of Legos. Well, they had lots of Legos. Lots of empty empty shelf space where Legos used to be here. So here's the rest of the Christmas decoration department here that's blown out. Well, they got toys in it now. Sometimes Target has been known to have movies on a little end cap up front. So I'll go take a look up there, see if they've got anything. No, 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 no. I'm not seeing any more movies up here. This place is a madhouse. I'm getting out of here. Well, it's not surprising that they were busy in there, but it is kind of surprising. I mean, there's so many of the shelves are just blown out. Um, but I didn't see really any, any great like Christmas sales. Which, I mean, I know it's not Black Friday or anything like that, but you got like two days left of shopping here. Mark some stuff down. But I, I can't believe how few movies they actually have in there now. It's very disappointing. Worse than even Barnes & Noble. And we know movies are going away, but man, so disappointing. Just like that. We're at Walmart in Beaumont. Beaumont, California. Beaumont. There was on the XM radio app on the Weather Channel when the lady on there would talk about Beaumont, whether it was Texas, California, wherever. She would say, Beaumont, Beaumont. We're at the Walmart in Beaumont. Let's buy some Christmas stuff or see if they got any sales. If not, we'll go home and suck it, apparently, right? Not so bad walking in. But it does look like there's long lines at the registers, which is unfortunate. I don't know why they make so many of these cupcakes. I gotta imagine most of them wind up at uh, food banks. That is a lot of cupcakes. Oh, holy shit. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Those lines are long. Oh boy. I gotta give me some more nog. You gotta stop a, stock up on nog. A couple days from now, you won't be able to find nog. Not for like nine or 10 more months. And that's gonna suck. So I'm gonna buy a quart or two right now or half gallon, whatever they are. Good old Walmart. Look at those empty ass shelves. How can you sell stuff if you don't have stuff, Walmart? You suck. I can still go to my local grocery store, State Brothers. They always have the nog. They always come through. Well, let's go look at the movies right now. See if they got any movies we need here. On the back wall here, taking a shortcut. I don't know if it's a shortcut, but just away from people. Away from the crowd. ASMR. Whatever those fucking letters are as we walk to Walmart. ASMR. What's up, everybody? What'd you be doing Christmas shopping? Do you want to hear my lips smack when I when I walk through the store? Like that. Is that better? Walking through the store. With my lips smacking. Oh yeah. Well here we are at the movie section. This is nothing new for Walmart though. Blown out. 
so we got the Halloween trilogy now on DVD. Who the fuck is buying that? Smile. Again, it's DVD, but like I might get Smile, but not on DVD. Let's see, Stranger Things album. Hmm. Well, even Walmart's section is getting smaller and smaller. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Friday the 13th, 8 movie collection. That's pretty cool 3D looking, but I think I'm good. I think I've got it already. Thank you very much, Wet Movie 1. More of their Christmas movies over there. And some sale stuff over here. No. Just, you can tell they're just laying there flat. This is not going to be movies very much longer. Limited edition Grinch. That's kind of cool. A little box at three movies. Well, three mini movies. That's cool. Oh, there's the one with Jim Carrey. That's cool. $13. I'm good. I already have them. Wolf of Wall Street. Hmm. Yeah, somebody had mentioned a fluff or fluff saw somewhere about movies being on sale like 4k's or something and, and uh, yeah I'm not seeing it we're gonna continue looking where's the five dollar movie bin but those are just DVDs still but, yep no no sign of sale of movies unless they're uh, located somewhere differently today Get your gear, remix your gear. You know what would be cool is if I got like some of these colored lights or something to put in the background. I could use some of those like for my videos. I don't need like headphones. Do I need that? Fashion jewelry studio, universal screen protectors, or oh, curtain lights. Eh, I don't need curtain lights. Something like these, yeah. Uh, oh, sound reactive. I've been seeing commercials for stuff like this. I think I'm good. I'm gonna head up and look at the Christmas decorations. I need to get a, well, I need to get a stocking. Shh, don't tell nobody that. I'm gonna go see if I can find it. Wrapping paper galore and candy. Wow, Target, what are you doing wrong? Look at this, tons of stuff still. Tons and tons. All Christmas trees. Hmm. Oh, look at these. They have restocked. Let's see if they got anything cool. I need to come back here after Christmas and see Boy Scout Elf. Minnie Mouse and Santa would be cool. Walmart always has two sections of Christmas stuff for whatever reason. I'm heading over to the other one right now. Christmas 25% off. It's going to be more than that a couple days from now. Actually picked up a couple things but the line I mean it was literally they had like four registers open each line had at least like 20 to 30 people in it I'm good fuck off Walmart I am good uh, I'll uh, I'll find something somewhere else to cover my needs I was just thinking we should totally stop into McDonald's and see if they have any Christmas milkshakes or hot coffee beverages or something. I haven't seen anything this year. The only thing I've, I've heard maybe Chick-fil-A has something but I haven't seen anything like at, at Jack in the Box McDonald's, like anywhere that would typically have a holiday milkshake 
or coffee type drink. I haven't seen that anywhere. So let's check. I'm at this McDonald's right here. Let's see if they got something. Hi, welcome to McDonald's. Are you using a mobile app? Um, no, not today, no. Okay, we're going to get for you. Let's see. Um... Do you, do you have any type of like uh, like the the Christmas drinks or anything like years past like peppermint this or that or like peppermint there's mochas the, or anything? There's the peppermint, but that's it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, let me just get a large diet coke then. That'll do it. Will that be all? Yeah. It's gonna be one seventy five for Christmas. Thanks. Well, uh, you heard it. They do not have Christmas drinks unfucking festive what the hell well no christmas drink but it's all good in the hood i got my diet coke and the guy said merry christmas that's impressive being that this is a mcdonald's that is traditionally a shit service place i mean most of them are but uh mm, they do have good diet coke that's one thing you got to give it to mcdonald's their beverages are always tasty not like many other places that uh, their beverages like the flavor of the root beer contaminates the others and stuff like that but i could get into a whole rant whole tangent about that but anyways yep very happy with that let's move on and check out um the next store big lots maybe i think is that where we're going i don't know let's see well here we are now at big lots let's go see if we have any better luck there because uh, the last couple places have not done any uh, favors for us Trying to wonder where they might keep their movies. This is like a brand new Big Lots. It used to be a furniture store. So I've never been in here before. But hopefully they've got movies. Oh, look at this. Leg lamp, mini glass. Huh, that's really too small. I mean, it's kind of like shot glasses. Eggnog. Oh look, you got little, uh, what's his name, Baby Yoda's. Oh, here you go, shot glasses, that's cool. Well, they got some pretty cool stuff over here. Oh, nice, Clark W. Griswold. <laughs> What's well, funny, because that's like, what is his name, Marty Moose or whatever? Different, different uh, movie, but same guy. Darth Vader mugs. Still not seeing movies. Oh, they got, look at they got. I wonder if they got nog. Do they got eggnog? They got milk, chocolate milk. Uh, oh, they do have eggnog up there. Interesting. Two dollars. Huh. I don't. I don't know. If I'm gonna buy my eggnog at Big Lots though. I just don't trust their uh, refrigeration chain. Like, did it stay cold enough the whole time? Little baby toys. Popcorn. Oh, here you go. Yeah. There he is right there, the child. That's pretty cool. I wonder what they want for that. Usually, Big Lots has tags or prices on them. Maybe they're on this thing here. Huh. Oh, there it is, 37 bucks. Yeah, that's cool, but $37, I'm probably all right. Well, here's some Christmas goodies right here. What is this? A Rudolph lollipop? Huh. Oh, like a ring pop kind of thing. Yeah. I think I'm all right. Oh, Whitman's. Man, I love me some Whitman's. Ah, might have to get me some Whitman's. I'm a big fan of the orange cream, the chocolate buttercream, the sea salt caramel, and the nut caramel. Yeah, that peanut cluster and the chocolate covered peanuts can suck my butt, but man, I might, I'm not seeing a price. I might have to go ahead and grab me one of these Whitman's, because that's what you do. If you're a Sopranos and somebody's in the hospital dying, you bring them Whitman's. Hmm. Oh, these Ghirardelli. Oh man, peppermint bark. Ah. Uh, such good stuff right there. Such good stuff. Hmm. Duncan 
for maple, artificially maple flavored. What is it? Cookies or something? Oh, Keurig. Oh, it's coffee. It's actually coffee. Huh. You know what? I might go with one of these instead of the Whitman's. I might go with that. Ooh. What is this? Let's see the price. Hmm. Well, here we go. Here's here's movies over here. Not a whole lot, but there's some movies. Uh, usually, most big lots have a lot more than this. Let's see what they got. Mad Max. Eh. Get out of there. Are these all Mad Max? Oh, they're semi-organized. It. Uh, you could buy that for a dollar at Dollar Tree. Crazy Rich Asians. Blue Planet. Annabelle, Tammy, Peter Rabbit, Tammy. Smokey and the Bandit 40th anniversary. Ah oh, man, I don't know if I even have Smokey and the Bandit. I might have to pick that up. Let's see Peter Rabbit. Good, Bad, and the Ugly. I've got that. Curse Light Rona. I've got that. Annabelle. Good. I think this one looks a little better than that one. Let's put over here with my candy. Let's see. Oh, Rocky. The original Rocky. Huh. Blu-ray. Interesting. That's weird looking artwork, man. Look at that. What is, that's so weird looking. Constantine. Ugh. Horrible Bosses, Batman Lego, Bumblebee, Amazing Spider-Man, Star is Born, and Uncle. Ah. Well, here goes some more. Hmm. Oh, Xbox One game? What? That's interesting. Let's set this stuff down here. Outrage, Resident Evil, good with those. I was going to say it seemed like a well-go movie. Takashi Mike's, it's only three bucks. Seasons one and two of Vikings, Paradise Hills, I feel pretty, Beyond Reach, a Michael Douglas movie, what? Hmm. I've never seen that before. Anybody know if that's any good? Let's see. Oh, we got more over here. Uh, PS4 game. What? Cemetery Wars. Max Steel. The Vikings again. Oh, Godzilla. Yeah. Oh, Xbox 360 games. What? What are you doing, Big Lots? First up here, oh, Battlestar Galactica, season one on Blu-ray. Too bad the new one sucked. Sector Seven, First Love. Not best. Hmm. Okay. Well, all right. That's probably it then. There we are, walking out the door with a few things in hand. Sit in the car, and I'll tell you what I got right now. Right now. Right now, listen, there's a train going by. This, do I drop something? I thought I dropped something. I am seeing things. But this is Big Lots. Right over there behind me is Walmart. And right behind the stores is a train. Train! Fluffy likes to say, train! You know what movie that's from? Train! And they gotta run. Is that fucking annoying or what? My bad. Wayne Bam, thank you, ma'am. We are done with the shopping trip here. So the only two movies I got today were First Love, and this is uh, brought to you by our good friends over at Wellgo USA. 
Music can start, start playing here. I turn it down. It's going to get me. It's going to get me. It's going to get There we go. But uh, First Love, and I don't know if it's Takashi Mike or Mike or however you say it, but I always see it and I go Takashi Mike, but um, his movies are always good. First Love, that's one I don't have, so very excited to grab that and check that out. I'm like get, really getting into this Asian cinema, specifically Korean movies, and it's Smokey and the Bandit, the 40th anniversary. I do not have a copy of Smokey and the Bandit. Boom. Now I do, and I have it on Blu-ray for $4.99. Not too bad. Not too bad. How to get that? That's a, I mean that's a classic. Who doesn't love Smokey and the Bandit? So uh, the, yeah, the sequel, uh, but uh, the first one is a phenomenal movie. So that's it. Thanks very much for watching, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, my crazy random random adventure, and uh, hopefully you have a wonderful Christmas tomorrow if you're celebrating. If you're not, have a wonderful day anyways, and everybody will see you Monday night for the third episode of OGP's new Monday show called. Every Monday's a giveaway. Hashtag EMAG. Every Monday's a giveaway. We're doing it. Every Monday we're giving something away. Uh, with that being said, I got to go. I got presents to wrap. I got candy to eat. Oh, I didn't show you. I bought this. Instead of the Whitman's, I, I, I was like, you know what? I'm going with the Ghirardelli. Going with the Peppermint Bark Collection. Oh, man. This is like sealed tight here. They got it. Sealed. God, nobody's messing with this wrapper. Ah. <sighs> Peppermint bark. And so they come in these little festive little packets. You open that up. Ooh, look at that. It's like a little snowman. And so it's like white. And it's like chocolate. I don't know if that's... Oh, that, well, that would be the peppermint bark. Whatever that is. I think maybe it's like white chocolate with crispy things inside. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, it's fucking amazing. Very similar taste to Andy's candies. Very similar, a little bit different. Very similar to Andy's. I love me some Andy's candies. A little chocolates. Some restaurants give you those when you're way out the door instead of like a mint or something. Love Andy's candies and I love uh, snowmen with their heads bit off. Mm. Okay, thank you, bye.